What's going on, everyone? Today is January 18th, 2023. In today's video, we're going to cover the recent passing of professional wrestler Jay Briscoe, who is said to have died suddenly yesterday in a car accident at the age of 38. In this video, we'll discuss the numerology of this incident, as well as some relevant astrology. What we're going to focus on is how this is connected to primarily the moon. Briscoe died on January 17th of 2023. This is the 100th anniversary of the first brown lunation. Back in 1923, each new moon began getting its own number. And this began on January 17th, exactly 100 years before the death of Jay Briscoe. Briscoe's death was announced on Twitter by AEW and Ring of Honor owner Tony Khan. We'll look at the numerology of Tony Khan to see how this fits in as well. So let's get started. First of all, the name Briscoe. In the language of Gematria, has values of 71 and 35. Here we're using the simple language of Gematria, where each letter is numbered relative to its position in the alphabet, 1 through 26. This is also called English Ordinal, Standard English Gematria. The reduction method is very similar but reduces each double digit number to a single digit prior to adding it to the equation. The reverse methods are complementary to the ordinal ciphers and we'll peek at those as well as this decode continues. But first again the name Briscoe 71 ordinal and 35 reduction. These are the same values as car crash 71 35. And it's said that a car crash is what claimed his life. If we instead take the name Jay Briscoe, which was his wrestling name for his entire career, notice how we get an alphabetic ordinal value of 107. This is a number I mentioned from time to time as ritual sacrifice also equals 107. Measuring from the birthday of Tony Khan, October 10th of 82, to the birthday of Jay Briscoe, January 25th of 1984, gives us one year and 107 days. Briscoe born 107 days after Tony Khan's birthday. This measurement actually gives us three digits, however, 117, as the zero is ignored in numerology. So here we have the number 117. 117 is the reverse ordinal value of the number 13. The number 13 is very special to this story, as Jay Briscoe and his brother Mark were, at the time of his death, in their 13th reign for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships, the winningest tag team in the history of the company. Jay and his brother Mark with Ring of Honor for about 20 years. Certainly one of the biggest stars of the independent wrestling scene in the last 20 years. Briscoe was a guy who didn't exactly reflect mainstream corporate values. So he was shunned by companies like WWE and AEW. But he's had his chance to shine in the national spotlight as Tony Khan purchased Ring of Honor and started running pay-per-views and featuring their wrestlers on his shows. So looking back at the gematria of 13, notice how in reduction 13 sums to 45 in both methods, and in ordinal it equals 99. Jay Briscoe's real name was Jamin Pugue, which has these same values, 99, 45, and 45. Dead during his 13th tag team title reign, 99, 45. On the date that Briscoe died, it was even 99 days 
after the birthday of Tony Khan, who was tasked with announcing his death. And no, Tony Khan isn't responsible for his death. There's certainly something much deeper going on behind all of this. Now, the number 99 is special to the moon. Notice how the moon equals 99. So does the phrase new moon. New moon equals 99. And once again, Briscoe died on the 100th anniversary of the brown lunation system, which we use to count each new moon. You'll see here on my date calculator, available for enthusiast and mystic members, you're able to see the brown lunation number for any date. And this changes a little less than once per month. With each new moon, we get a new brown lunation number. And this is very significant, as I've been teaching for a long time now. And when you write out the number 99 as it's spelled, you get an ordinal value of 129. Jay Briscoe had primary birth numerology of 129. Another reason that the number 13 is significant here is because the company that he wrestled for, Ring of Honor, is usually abbreviated as ROH, which sums to both 13 and 41, which is the 13th prime number. Another major, highly significant cipher I teach on this channel is called Latin, or Agrippa's Key, as it's first revealed in ancient Masonic texts. This cipher uses the ancient Latin alphabetic order with current modern English characters at the end. In this cipher, the number 13 equals 347. Now, in the ancient Hebrew language, this is a number of sacrifice or immolation. But what's so important about 347 is that this is the 69th prime number. 13 tying to 69. Jay Briscoe. His car accident was in Laurel, Delaware. And notice how both Laurel and Delaware both summed to 69 in the alphabetic order. And this seems to be a pretty big deal in Laurel, Delaware, as even the Laurel School District is canceling classes today. And I get that it's a small community and that Jay Briscoe was probably the best-known guy there, but closing schools for this seems a little odd, doesn't it? I don't know. You guys tell me. 69 is also the value of Eclipse, and towards the latter half of this video, we're going to talk about how his death is connected to several major solar eclipses. Furthermore, consider how Delaware has been dominating the mainstream news lately. Delaware is the home of President Biden, and Biden has been in hot water lately as he's used his Delaware home to store classified documents. So uh, here we get a big news story out of Delaware, which is not some place we hear about very often. So back to the moon. This is the year 2023. In numerology, this represents 223, and we know this to be a significant number, tracing back to the Skull and Bones secret society. Skull and Bones uses the number 322 on its emblem. And in the alphabetic order, Skull and Crossbones equals 223. Well, in the year 2023, Yale University, the home of Skull and Bones, turns 322 years old. In astronomy, the number 223 is significant because of its relation to the sorrow cycle. This cycle allows us to predict the next solar or lunar eclipse based on the movement of the moon. 223. Well, Tony Khan is not only the owner of AEW and Ring of Honor, but he's also part owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars of the National Football League. Last month, on December 30th, Jacksonville Jaguars lineman Uche Nwaneri, who played with the team up through 2013, suddenly died. And Nwaneri, just like Jay Briscoe, was also 38 years old. 
And look how old Uche Noneri was when he died. He was 2,023 weeks old when he died just a couple of days before the year 2023. This brings us to Ring of Honor, the company that Jay Briscoe wrestled for for about two decades. Ring of Honor was founded on the date February 23rd, the date that we write here in the United States as 223. Furthermore, it was founded in the city of Philadelphia. In the reverse alphabetic order, Philadelphia sums to 223, this very significant moon number. Ring of Honor was sold to Tony Khan in early 2022. And think about the date that this announcement was made on an episode of Dynamite. March 2nd of 22. So the sale was announced on 3-2-22. A lot of familiar digits, aren't they? Well, if you measure from 3-2-22, the Ring of Honor sale, to the death of Jay Briscoe, you get a span of 322 days, with the end date included. Worth noting, this is also 46 weeks. And 46 is the reduction sum of the word sacrifice. This is also 10 months and 16 days. 10-16. Notice how the state of Delaware equals 1016 in Latin gematria. Let's talk a little bit more about how this connects again to the brown lunation number. And just for the record, the brown lunation number is named as such because of astronomer Ernest William Brown. And again, this started in the year 1923. In Gematria, the name Ernest Brown equals 1392, which is a rearrangement of those same digits in 1923. Furthermore, his full name, Ernest William Brown, also equals 1392 in Sumerian Gematria, where the alphabetic order is multiplied by 6. So here we are on the 100th anniversary, January 17th, 1923, to the death of Jay Briscoe, January 17th, 2023. If we were to use capital letters, the name Tony equals 100. This cipher, still very simple, using the alphabetic order, but 26 added for each capital letter. So the name Tony equals 100. If you were to reverse this method, his last name Khan, Khan also equals 100 with capital letters. In fact, if you write out the number 100, it sums to 108. The name Tony Khan has double gematria of 108, both in the alphabetic order and the reverse alphabetic order. And the number 108 is very special to the moon and the sun. The phrase full moon sums to 108 and 108, just like the phrase geometry. Measuring from the moon to the earth on average is 108 moons wide. It's the same thing with the sun. Multiply the sun's diameter by 108 and you get its approximate uh, distance to the earth. Including the end date, Tony Khan and Jay Briscoe, their birthdays are separated by 108 days. This reflects the number 118, one year, 108 days. The name Briscoe equals 118. In Latin gematria, the word death equals 118. So does homicide. But this actually brings us to the number 18. With the zero dropped, 100 and Tony Khan, all of this is an 18. And 18 has the same gematria as sacrifice, 73 and 46. Measuring from the death of Uche Nuaneri, the former Jacksonville Jaguars lineman, to the death of Jay Briscoe gives us 18 days. And Jay's death 
made national headlines on the 18th day of the year. In fact, the date he died had primary numerology of 61. 1 plus 17 plus 20 plus 23. And 61 is the 18th prime number. 61 is also the reduction value of Brown Lunation, the centennial anniversary of the Brown Lunation number. Tony Khan syncs up with Brown Lunation, but so does Ring of Honor. Notice how Ring of Honor has gematry of 1042 in two ciphers. A lot like Brown Lunation 1402 in standard. Although the Brown Lunation system begins in 1923, it was actually instituted retroactively. So when this was first implemented, it wasn't until the year 33. Notice how Uche Nwaneri's full name sums to 330 in the alphabetic order. He played for the Jacksonville Jaguars, which equals 303 in reverse. Measuring from the date that Tony Khan announced the sale of Ring of Honor to the death of Uche Nwaneri was 303 days. And if you measure from Uche Nwaneri's birthday to the death of Jay Briscoe, you get another 303 days. And just to recap, Tony Khan, not only the uh, owner of Ring of Honor, where Jay Briscoe wrestled, but also the Jacksonville Jaguars, who Uche Nwaneri spent his entire career with. Of course, Uche Nwaneri was number 77. That's the value of Christ. Think about how we're taught that Christ crucified in 33 AD at the age of 33. To end this video, I want to talk about the number in the headline. 38, the age that Jay Briscoe was when he died. I talk about this number in many videos connected to death, as the word death, the word killing, also murder and RIP, all summing to 38. The 2002 movie Murder by Numbers codes the number 38 into its poster, as this is occult knowledge snuck into the public. In the reverse alphabetic order, the name J. Briscoe sums to 163, which is the 38th prime number. I thought it was interesting that there's 163 days between the birthdays of Tony Khan, Uche Nwaneri. In fact, when Ring of Honor was founded, look how old J. Briscoe was. 16 years and 30 days. J. Briscoe, 163. Dying at 38. So let's go off the rails a little bit. From the death of Jay Briscoe, measuring back to the last total solar eclipse, and I'll explain why this eclipse is significant to Jay Briscoe. But if you measure from the last total solar eclipse to the death of Jay Briscoe, you get one year, six weeks, and three days. This eclipse was on December 4th, the date written 12-4. In Latin gematria, the name J. Briscoe equals 1240. His birthday was one month and 24 days before Uche Nwaneri's, the Jaguars player who died. But I also noticed, if you don't include the end date, his death was one year and 44 days after that same eclipse. 144 is the reverse value of his real name, Jamin Pugh, 144. In reverse Sumerian, Laurel, Delaware, the city he died in, 1440. By the way, this December 4th eclipse, I thought it was interesting that this belonged to Tsaros 152. This is all in Delaware, where Joe Biden lives. Joe Biden equals 152. Finally, I want to explain quickly how this is also connected to the two great American total solar eclipses that create an X over the United States. Measuring from the first eclipse, in 2017, we get 64 months. Jay Briscoe also died exactly 64 weeks before the second 
Great American Total Solar Eclipse. His ring name, Jay Briscoe, equals 64, just like the word kill in reverse. 64 is also the ordinal sum of President Joe Biden. Again, from Delaware, the same state that this all occurred. That'll do it for this video. For anyone who wants to support the work, please feel free to check the links in the description. This will guarantee that the site stays up and more videos keep coming. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you all next time. See ya.